I was delighted uh, probably two or three years ago now to be invited to join their Action Prostate Cancer Support Group uh, by my physician. Uh, he probably got a good knowledge of my background because he was aware that uh, I was IT literate and, and the local group didn't have an email account or a Twitter account. Uh, but more, more than anything else, he, he, he was aware of my thirst for, for change. Uh, and I guess wherever I've been in work and even in my own private life, you know, I've got this thirst. Can I be doing things differently or better? And I joined at the time. Uh, the support group was three years old. Uh, but just listening to the members, they were uh, recognising they were stagnating somewhat. And where, where are we going? We're going nowhere with this group. It, same people come every year, just 12 of us. We talk about the same thing. Where, where are we going? Well, in life, you, you need a plan. And it just so happens I joined at a time that they could tap into some of the skills uh, I'd, I'd learned in my, in my life working for, for Airbus. You know, life is about continual change, continual improvement. I, I recognise that. But more, more, the most important thing of all, I recognise, to get anybody to change or improve things, you have to get everybody on your side and pointing in the same direction. And you need to talk in a language that they can understand. So don't come in with any gizmo names and what we're trying to achieve and how we're doing it. Just use some simple methods of recognising, well, what, where are our strengths? You know, let's build on those strengths. And our strength is our membership base. You know, where are we weak? Well, we probably, we're weak in terms of membership base. We, we sell, seldom get new members coming on board. Well, why? How, how can we attract new members? You know, how can we get a better engagement plan uh, with the urologist department at the Myler? So we, we, we sat down and we uh, the first thing we did was we thought, well, let's create ourselves a little bit of a, a plan. If you're a sailor going out to sea, you want to know where you're sailing to. No different is it in life. You know, we needed a plan. And we started by creating a little, I know it sounded a little bit cheesy. Well, let's create ourselves a mission statement. Where do we want to be? What do we want to achieve? Uh, and uh, we recognised that uh, we've got no structure about ourselves. Some people do some fundraising, put in the bank, nobody accounts for it. You know, two years later, we said, what's this £300 doing in the bank? So we have uh, wrote a constitution. We created a, uh, a post of chairman, treasurer, vice chairman. Uh, and I came on board as the secretary and the, and the fundraiser. And the, that journey started 18 months ago. Uh, and it's grown from strength to strength. Uh, and the one thing about it, I've, I've managed to carry the team behind me. You know, this, this is the personal crusade. This is the strength of the group coming together as one. You know, no, nobody sees me as uh, the big time Charlie who have been there, done it before. The, the mm -hmm. sea is, this is, this is the music to your ears, Phil. Keep it coming. Keep your fundraising coming. Keep your bright ideas coming. Um, because I, I do enjoy, I do enjoy the role. I, 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 the, the fact that, that uh, through lockdown, I've probably taken more calls in lockdown than I, I, we ever did pre-lockdown because people recognise that uh, I've got the key to the door. I think it's important uh, in, in any change programme or you're looking to improve on any work that you're doing, this mustn't be seen as a one-man job. You know, well, the first thing we decided to do is we needed a structure. So we formed a little steering group. So this isn't the Phil's crusade. This is the steering group that come in with the ideas. And so we've got a chairman uh, and a very active vice chairman. Uh, we've got a treasurer who's a treasurer of the local buffs group in uh, nearby Chirk. Uh, my chairman was headmaster, so he's got some wonderful leadership skills. So the work that we do isn't seen as a one-man bob. You know, this isn't Phil coming up with the bright ideas. You know, I'm, I might be the stimulus, I might be the, the person pulling all together, but no, this is a real team effort in Wrexham. But if I could just heap praise on one person, that is the guy who made his start on day one, is the, our urologist specialist, Professor Shogun. He is our guiding light. He gets engaged in just about every program that we're doing, he attends just about every meeting. He's available offline to talk to, to get advice. And that is such a powerful tool to have in our armory. And even on uh, when we meet once a month, we've got uh, urology nurses, we've got specialists. Who, we're just eager and happy to come and attend. Now, you know you're on the way to victory when you've got a thirst from the medical staff to want to participate in our, in our journey.